In this video, I'll show you step-by-step -step how to build a professional portfolio website in under 15 minutes. We'll break it down into five simple steps, making it easy to follow even if you've never built a website before. Whether you're a freelancer, creative, entrepreneur, or in tech, this portfolio building method works for anyone and will help you stand out. First, we'll prepare your content and gather everything you need. Then, we'll sign up for a website builder that lets you create a sleek, professional site for less than $3 per month. Next, we'll set up the site structure, upload and organize everything, and finally, publish your portfolio. By the end of this video, you'll have a professional portfolio website that showcases your work beautifully. Sound good? Let's dive in. Before you start building, gather your content in one place to make the process smoother and prevent interruptions during the design phase. Create a folder on your computer with subfolders for work samples, bio, testimonials, and any logos or branding elements you want to include on your site. For text content, draft it in a Google Doc or Word file so you can copy and paste it into your site later. Key sections and content to prepare include your hero section, which includes your name, profession, a short value proposition, and a call to action. About me. This should include a brief bio with brief experience highlights and key skills. Many people find it difficult to write about themselves, so if you're struggling with this, answer these five questions, then take your answers, put them into ChatGPT along with this prompt, and this should give you a really solid foundation for your bio and professional summary. Next, you have your portfolio or work showcase. This should be your best work samples with short descriptions. Services, if applicable. This should be a list of what you offer along with potential starting prices. Social proof. Include testimonials, reviews, press mentions, certifications, and any awards you've earned. Contact information. Include your email, relevant social links, and optionally, a phone number. Here's a checklist with everything you should prepare. Go ahead and grab a screenshot or bookmark this timestamp for future reference. Once you have everything ready, meet me in the next step. Next, let's choose a tool to create our website. There are many options to choose from. These include Wix, Squarespace, Hostinger, GoDaddy, Webflow, WordPress, Card, and too many others to name. For our portfolio website, we'll use Hostinger because they have a drag and drop builder that makes it simple to design a stunning website, AI tools that make setting up the site and optimizing SEO quick and easy, and it's one of the most affordable options, offering robust features for less than $3 per month. This makes Hostinger the best option for creating our portfolio website. You can also get an additional 10% discount on your Hostinger subscription plan when you use the first link in the video description below. Scroll down and click the link to claim your discount. It will be automatically applied to your plan when you sign up. After clicking the link, select Claim Deal, then choose your plan. I recommend the business plan for faster load speeds, more frequent backups, and access to AI tools, making site building smoother and ensuring your work is saved more often. If you're on a tight budget, the premium plan still gets the job done. Select your plan, then enter your basic information and payment details to get signed up. After submitting payment, you'll follow the prompts to set up your website. For who is this website for, select the relevant option, and then click next. For do you want to create or migrate a website, Select Create a Website, then click Next. For how do you want to build your website, select Hosting or Website Builder, and then click Next. Your account comes with a free domain, but we'll set this up later. For now, click Use Temporary Domain. Enter your brand name and a short description of what you do. If you have a preferred aesthetic, mention it here. For example, minimalist, modern, black and white. Specify font preferences if desired. For example, we'll ask for Montserrat for headings and Inter for body text. Click Create a Website and let AI generate a template tailored to your needs. The AI Builder will process for a few moments, then present you with a preview. Review the preview, and if you need any major changes, click Create again at the top left to return to the previous page and refine your prompt. When you're generally satisfied with the preview, select a color theme. Then, click Continue to enter the website editor. Before making content edits, let's refine the overall structure of the website. To add a new section, hover over an existing section, then at the bottom of that section, click the Add Section button and choose the type of section you need from the pop-up. To rearrange the sections, click on a section that you want to move, 
Then click the move up or move down arrow buttons that appear in the pop-up toolbar. To remove a section from your site, select it, then click the trash can icon. To manage the pages of your website, click pages and navigation in the left toolbar. If needed, add pages for deeper project breakdowns or case studies. To add a page, simply click the purple add page button at the bottom, then select a page layout template. Give your new page a simple name and URL ending, then click save. To delete any extra pages that you don't need, click the three dots to the right of the page name, then click delete. Click delete again on the confirmation pop-up. For our demo, we'll delete all the extra pages to keep a clean single page portfolio layout. For single page sites like our demo site, I recommend hiding the header and navigation bar. To do this, delete all extra pages first. Then under main navigation, click the three dots to the right of the home page, then click hide from navigation. To update the website styles and general appearance, click website styles in the left toolbar. Adjust colors, fonts, buttons, and animation styles to match your brand or aesthetic. Once the structure is in place, we can start adding content. Now let's refine the design and add content, starting with some editing basics. To add an element, click Add Element in the left toolbar. Then, drag your chosen element to the desired location on the page. To reposition an element, simply click and drag it. A 12-column grid will appear to help align elements. To modify an element, click on it to open the floating toolbar where you can adjust settings. To duplicate an element, select it, click the Duplicate button, then drag the new element into place. To remove an element, select it and click the trash can icon. All right, now that we've got the structure in place and we know our way around the editor, let's start bringing the site to life with content. We'll go section by section, making updates and refining the design along the way. Let's start with our hero section. Update the headline with your name. Update the subheader with a one to two sentence value proposition that summarizes what you offer. Set the call to action or CTA button to say something like, view my work. Add a secondary CTA for engagement. Duplicate the first button, reposition the new button next to the original button, adjust the style, and change the text to contact me. Link the CTA buttons to their sections using anchor links. To add anchor links, scroll down and click the target section for each button. Select edit section and enter a short anchor name. For example, gallery. Close the pop-up, then scroll back up to your hero section. Click the button, then click edit button in the floating toolbar. Select link to section and choose the relevant anchor name from the dropdown. Next, click on the placeholder image and replace it with a new one, or remove it and add a high quality image to the background and adjust the opacity for good contrast with the text in front of it. Next, let's create our client logo gallery. Make sure the next section on your page has a gallery ready to go. Click the gallery and select manage gallery in the floating toolbar. Delete the placeholder images using the trash can icon. Then click add images to upload your own client logos. After uploading, rearrange them to the order you want them to appear. Then click the X in the top right corner. Click edit gallery in the floating toolbar. In gallery settings, set the layout to grid and adjust the number of items per row so all logos fit neatly into one or two rows for a clean professional look. Finally, clean up any placeholder elements and adjust the gallery's position within the section. To create a balanced layout, click and drag the section height tab at the bottom right to remove any excess space. Now let's focus on the most important part, your portfolio gallery. This is where you showcase your best work and make a lasting impression. For our demo site, Jake M is a photographer, so an image gallery works best. If your work isn't image-based, consider using a case study layout embedded media, or another format that highlights your projects effectively. If you haven't already, choose a section template that best fits your portfolio. Upload your best work and arrange the images in the ideal display order. Use an even number of images to maintain a visually balanced layout. Try grid or masonry layouts to see what best showcases your content. Adjust the number of columns and spacing to create a clean professional look. Under on click settings, 
Select Open Full Screen Preview so visitors can see high-resolution versions of your work. Depending on your style and content, consider adding a title and descriptions to the section to provide context for your work. Or remove the text for a cleaner layout. Don't forget to reposition elements and update section height for balanced spacing. Next, let's update the Services or Skills section. First, update text to describe what you offer in a clear and compelling way. Use short, action-oriented descriptions. Rearrange elements so the most important services appear first. Replace any placeholder images with relevant visuals that align with your work. Let's move on to the About Me section. Click on or add the section, then update the placeholder text with your bio and background summary you wrote earlier in your Google Doc. Add a high-quality personal photo that feels professional yet approachable. Consider including a short personal touch, such as a fun fact or passion, to make the section more relatable. Next up, let's add social proof or credibility boosters. There's no single correct layout for this because social proof can take many forms. Testimonials, press mentions, awards, or client showcases. Just like your portfolio section, the best layout depends on the content you have available. If you haven't already, choose a layout template that best highlights your strongest credibility boosters. Upload screenshots, reviews, or article features that showcase your expertise. If showcasing an article or large image with lots of details, upload the image, then set it to open in full screen preview when clicked. Now we'll add more social proof in the form of testimonials. Select your section or add a new one, then update the text with real testimonials from clients, employers, or coworkers. If you don't have any of these, get some friends or family members to write some nice things about you. Use a two or three quote format to keep it visually engaging and easy to scan. If available, include names, job titles, and profile photos to add authenticity. Adjust text formatting to highlight key phrases or impact statements. Don't forget to include five stars next to each testimonial. People love stars. Finally, let's update the contact section. Click edit form, then customize the form fields to include the essential details, such as name, email, a brief message, and optionally a phone number. Under the Button tab, add a thank you message for submissions to display a confirmation when they submit the form. Under the General tab, set the email destination for contact form submissions to make sure messages go to your desired inbox. If relevant, display your contact information alongside the form and add social media links to make it easy for visitors to connect with you across different platforms. When you're done adding and organizing your content, click the phone icon at the top to see how your site looks on mobile. Click Auto Fix Layout to automatically adjust most of the page. Then go through and fix anything that still needs tweaking. Small changes to the mobile layout won't mess up how your site looks on a computer. Before launching your site, let's make sure it's optimized for search engines. Head to SEO settings in the left sidebar and review the recommendations. If you're on the business plan or higher, you can use the AI Assistant to generate optimized titles and descriptions. Next, claim your domain. Click Connect Domain in the top bar, and then either register a new one or link an existing domain you already own. Follow the setup instructions, and keep in mind that new domains can take up to 24 hours to fully activate. Once that's done, it's time to go live. Click Go Live in the top bar, and your portfolio is officially online. And remember, your site isn't set in stone. You can update it any time as you complete new projects. Just make edits and hit Update Website to keep your portfolio fresh and relevant. Your professional portfolio website is live and ready to impress. If this video helped, hit like and subscribe for more tutorials. Got questions? Drop them in the comments. For a deeper dive into Hostinger, check out our other tutorials. Thanks for watching.